Trip Kramer here from TripAdvice.com, and on today's video, we're gonna be talking about the foolproof formula to flirting. And look who's flirting right behind me. Prime example. Flirting, there is a formula. There is something that you can kind of memorize and it will help you in terms of when you're interacting with the girl. So here's the quick formula for all those who always complain that I talk too much and don't get right to the point. Basically, you gotta make sure that you're doing verbal flirting, non-verbal flirting, and then what I like to call intention. I'm gonna start with the one that most people don't think about, most people don't do, which is why I talk about it at length on my channel, but I know that you don't watch every single video, so I have to repeat myself sometimes. And we're talking about that third one, which is intention. So, what is intention? Well, it's very easy. What are your intentions? What are your intentions when you're talking to a girl? Think about that. So, that's about moving the interaction forward. Hold on, gotta get an ant off the lens. There we go. It's about moving the interaction forward. You don't just flirt with the girl to flirt and then say, okay, bye, see you later. No, the purpose of flirting is to be able to move the interaction forward. So that means that you are gonna see her at another time. You are going to make a date with her. You are gonna continue seeing her after the initial meet and greet, wherever that may be. It's about continuing to spend time with her. That is why you flirt. Everything is a means to an end. You have to be goal-oriented here. And the reason why I'm acting so systematic about this process is because a lot of guys forget that because they don't want the rejection. They're afraid of getting rejected by the girl, which is why they don't have the intention behind the flirting. And then you have wonderful non-verbal flirting. Non-verbal flirting is my favorite, and the reason why is because it's so easy and it gets so much done. Non-verbal flirting is the actual body space between you and the girl, like how far away is she from you? If you guys have a very big gap between you and her, it's gonna make it difficult to connect with her. So you wanna make sure that your body's actually physically close to hers when you first meet her, when you're talking to her in conversation. Obviously, not like inches away, unless you are at some sort of club or loud environment and then it calls for it. But otherwise, you wanna eventually get to the point where you guys are at least a foot and a half away and no more than that. Other non-verbal ways of flirting are eye contact. Probably mentioned that on maybe 33% of the videos that I have out on the YouTube channel. Eye contact is a great way to connect with a girl. It's really, really a great way to connect with anybody, giving someone intense eye contact. And that's non-verbal, right? Because you're not saying anything, you're doing something with your body. So looking at her in the eye, and again, recapping a little bit, looking her in the eye, getting close to her in conversation, and also breaking the touch barrier. In fact, there's a secret spot on a girl's body that drives her wild. I'm gonna put a video down in the comment below. Maybe you've seen the video already where I tell you that secret spot and tell you exactly how to take advantage of that spot so it is comfortable for her, comfortable for you, and also gets her attracted. Currently in Bali at an amazing uh, little resort here with the Find Your Pack crew. We've been hanging out here, swimming, getting some food, seeing waterfalls. It's been a hell of a day. If you have not checked out doing some sort of remote co-working adventure, I highly suggest it. I know for a lot of you guys it's not that easy because you're either still in school or, uh, oh, getting a little bright here, there we go. You're still in school or uh, you guys can't leave your job, but you know, these days it's a little bit easier to be remote with your work, so if you can, check it out. This one too, find your pack. And now we move to verbal flirting to really tie everything together because of course, you're gonna be speaking to a girl, you're gonna be talking to her. Words are gonna be coming out of your mouth. So what are you gonna be saying to her? What is an example of verbal flirting? Teasing her, calling her nicknames, disagreeing with her, playfully, because that's what flirting is all about. Everything is very playful. And that's what I want you to do when you're with a girl. I mean, you know, what's it like when you're a five-year-old again, right? Five-year-olds are playing, they're teasing, they're having fun. Try to really harness that energy. I know that sounds completely ridiculous and maybe even a little silly to you, but that's what flirting is. It's going back and reverting to this kind of childlike innocence and then harnessing that 
into the idea of showing interest with a girl. One of my favorite things to, uh, to tease a girl on is just calling her a nerd. And for any reason whatsoever, just calling her a nerd and calling her out on something. And then in terms of disagreeing, an example would be like, if she likes something or if she's from somewhere, to say, no, you're not, no, no. That's not true, that's not true. Because then it gets her going to validation mode. It's like, yes, it is, yeah, it is. And then you guys are kind of just kind of playfully teasing and fighting each other. Again, sounds a little counterintuitive, but it does work. Alright, made a quick pit stop and I'm gonna try what is known as durian, which is uh, apparently a very polarizing fruit. Some people love it, a lot of people hate it. And you're not allowed to bring it anywhere because it smells pretty, uh, pretty intense. All right, here we go. It's not bad. Yeah, I'm giving, I give dating advice and fruit advice. How to eat fruit. I think it'd be a good way to pick up a girl. I don't think you want to pick up girls with durian. No? No, they might not like it. <laughs> now, how do you throw this all together, right? It's like, okay, we got this non-verbal type of flirting, we got some verbal flirting in there, and then there's intention in there, like how does this all work together? Well, here's one example. Imagine you're talking to a girl for a while, and you look her dead in the eye, and you just say, you are such a dork. And you say this while you're actually close to her. Like This is a great example of what flirting looks like when you tie all of it together, and it can be very powerful. Another example of this could be looking her in the eyes while your body is close to hers, and you say to her, there's something very interesting about you. We should hang out sometime. And that is an example of intention, right? So you can't forget that with all the lovely flirting and conversation, it always ends up in spending more time together in that moment, whether you guys continue to hang out after you initially meet or getting her number and grabbing a date with her, right? And letting her know that. I think a lot of guys, they end up not being very clear about what they want, and this actually hurts them. This is not being mysterious, by the way. This is being confusing, and women aren't attracted to guys who are confusing. They're attracted to a guys that really go after what they want and know what they want. This is all talked about, by the way, in my program Hooked, and shame on you if you've not checked it out yet. I talk about all these different examples of building this tension between you and the girl, which is flirting, and then being dominant and going for her number or going for spending more time with her, continuing the interaction. I call that dominance, and that's all in my program called Hooked. Link in the description down below. I know that you guys want to learn a lot about flirting, but I don't know if this is something that has helped you. Is this beginner stuff? Is this easy? Are you guys doing this? Are you flirting? Do you need more help in this area? Write a comment down below. Let's communicate with each other. And don't forget down below, I can help you out with a free video called Chick Crack with the topics of conversation that women love to talk about so we can help you with conversation and then you can inject some of these little flirting techniques that I gave you. So get that, write a comment down below and I'll see you tomorrow with more good stuff.